are Courtney the biggest fan in the world who is really upset about this. Courtney he is. is. Well, He's just, just distraught. You know, he loves to watch basketball. <laughs> I didn't know, because we've been hearing that throughout the show, that that noise was coming from them. I didn't from know they made From such a tiny well. little animal, the, right? The, they made such a noise right, like Well, that. this is Zeus. He's a red rough lemur that comes from the island of Madagascar, and he got his name because Hi. of that call that he makes. It sounds like you have a gorilla in your house, and when he stays in our house, if someone, oh, he likes his armpit armpit. scratch. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta love on those armpits. There you go. Both, no. You know, it's not a line you hear every day. Loves his armpits, scratch. Thank you, Courtney. Yeah. Um, and he likes his belly rubs, too, so Jenna, let you rub his belly. He's okay. awesome. Now, lemurs are one of my favorite animals to talk about with kids when we do our educational programs because they predict within 20 years they might be extinct in the wild on Madagascar Aww. because of rainforest destruction. So they've destroyed about 95% of the trees, and these guys rely on the trees more so than the other lemurs, which the popular lemur we all know is the ring-tailed lemur, like King Julian from the movie yeah. Madagascar. Yeah, at least to move it, move it. Okay. So, um, <laughs> These guys actually build a nest up in the trees, and they have their babies in the trees oh. for the first couple of weeks of their lives, and then they go and they plant them around on different parts of the trees, and um, that's where they take them. <laughs> They're just really lazy, overall chill animals in general. He He's not much hand. gets him of course, excited. Like a lot of humans, we know too. <laughs> right. And he can get away with it too. Yeah, he does. He just kind of lays out and hangs out and he's, you know, he's great with kids and with people and adults. And literally you walk in his enclosure and he comes to you and hugs your dick. I mean, Aww. that's his favorite How do the thing. kids react to him? They love him. <laughs> so I mean, our ringtail lemurs, of course, are one of our populars because they're, that's what everyone knows. But I tell all of my parents, I'm like, no, you want the rough lemur, trust me. Because he just lays in their laps and and lets them snuggle and rub all over him. he's got him the most beautiful eyes. Yeah. And silly question, he is part of the monkey family? He is not a monkey. He's a primate, but he's not a monkey. He's okay, a well, lemur guy, okay, so primate. they're not as okay. intelligent. So we don't tell him. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a best friend that is a monkey. I brought a monkey back in January, that little bitty monkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They that, room, are they buddies? They are buddies. Oh. They room together and they feed each other out of their mouths and this scratch is, each other's yes. armpits. Right there, Mike. Right there, <laughs> Mike. That's so bored. I mean, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. He is. How are you, huh? So you, they are the coolest. You want to hold a mic? You've got the prettiest eyes. Oh, sure. So you've had a busy summer, Courtney. You said yes. you were nonstop oh, with scratch his belly while you're holding him. Okay, yeah, so that's belly. one of our libraries right oh. there of our ladies with the ring tilt, with the red rough lemur. We work about six to seven days a week in the summer. And um, we, we average about 60 hours a week sometimes. Wow, 60 Ooh. hours. Yeah. And but so this is something you love to do, obviously. I do, so. yes. I don't mind it whatsoever. <laughs> I enjoy teaching and educating the kids and bringing them new and fun animals. What do we and have here? Really this is like that, Tuck. Right? Tuck is from <laughs> South America. <laughs> 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 right, because he tucks them oh, Tuck, Tuck is a South American three-banded armadillo, oh. and he is the only armadillo of the three-bandeds oh. that can actually roll up into a full ball. And they look like a little puzzle piece when they fit together. This is their protection. In his shell, it's a bony shell that's made up of keratin, the same thing as your fingernails. And he's not the kind found around here. No, those are our nine banded. This is a three banded. Okay. So you count the three big bands one, two, three. This is just flexible skin mm -hmm. in the middle that allows him to roll into a ball. You count these big bands. Oh, there he goes. And then he'll come out and he'll kind of. But what's tuck. interesting is, too, he's a mammal. <laughs> yes, these are mammals, and they're in insectivores. He's actually closely related to um, anteaters and sloths. Really? Yeah. Oh. And then if you look, he I'll pick him sloths. up. Get him to open up. His front feet are not actually like feet feet. Like sloths. He's got it's claws. All big claws. Yeah, he's got claws. Can you see his little claws? What do you think, what do you so think about that? What do they that, eat huh? normally? He eats that? insects and he all eats and termites. Yep, he uh -huh. uses those claws to dig in the ground and get all kinds of things to eat. Uh -huh. But if you see his back foot, uh -huh. I think you can <laughs> see his back foot in there. <laughs> he is loving that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He actually has a, you know, an actual back foot. And this right here, right it there. looks kind of like what he does have hair, so a lot like of hair. people call these like curbside like bumpers. <laughs> they because bumpers. they don't see very well. If You're you look okay. at his eyes, his eyes aren't very big. Where you, where you uh -huh. And um, I can stick him back in the kennel if I need to. He's like you can't have him. What do you what do you think about that? <laughs> oh, never seen one of those on Madagascar. Huh? We can switch if you want me to. Yeah, sorry, keep an eye on Tuck. I need to. Oh, um, keep but Tuck doesn't have a very big mouth opening. It's really, really tiny, almost like a circle in their mouth is shaped like that versus okay. up and down like ours. And they have a long, sticky tongue that they stick out. Like and that's how they grab, eaters. just okay. like anteaters, and that's how they grab their ants and insects and things to eat. And then oh. you see his little claws. Mm -hmm. He walks on the tips of his claws like that. Do they go pretty really fast? Funny. Oh, they can, oh, yeah. Okay. He, he really, he'll start booking it. Go around. Come on, Tuck. Yeah, we'll catch him before he goes. He's so cute. Cute. We should put him in a race with a turtle. Oh, <laughs> he's he's precious. And how old is Tuck? Tuck is 10 years old. He's actually um, a friend of mine who retired from shows uh, was going to rehome him. So we took him in because he's a Whoa, pro at shows. Here we go. Here we go. And, um, Here we go. You're okay. And he's great. He comes out. He's very social with everybody. 
you know, lets everybody see him and look at him. And, and we've got he'll live about 15 years, 15, 15 to 20 years, hopefully. Okay. It's so neat to see their personalities, the different yeah, animals. I, didn't the I mean, had that this... much, that much personality. Oh, and then this well, guy. Dang. Yeah, this guy's cool. So this is Ash, and Ash is a baby large spotted genet, and this guy comes from South Africa specifically. He's just a baby, so he's going to be the size of a house cat whenever he okay. grows up. And these are nocturnal as well. Oh. But you mentioned house Let's cat, see. but he is not a house. He's, he's not, not related, related to a cat whatsoever. These are civets, so he's closer related to a mongoose or a weasel. Oh. Not your bottle. He still takes it. He could, technically could be weaned, but we give him a bottle oh, just for uh, just to keep him social and keep and coming to us. They usually get freaked out really easily with new surroundings, so we're trying to acclimate him and get him socialized with everything really young, so he doesn't be so he's not that way when he gets older. Mm -hmm. We have an older one that's seven. His name is Smokey. That's why we named him Ash. Smokey and Ash. We're going to go say up. Smokey and Ash. And Smokey is very bonded to me. So these animals Aww. bond to one person really, really strong. And we're hoping. <laughs> I know. Follow I, know. Adult. I got you, Tucker. I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> well, if you'd like more information on all things Zoo Safari and these fascinating animals, this is just great. Courtney, thank you so much. Yeah, Download you're very app. welcome. Of course, iPhone, Android, Google Play. Click on the yeah. As Seen on SA Live. Yeah, we're on Instagram, too. You can follow us for cool facts there, too. All the information on Sweet. our website.